Play Angels Cause Art Signing sends a message 104 Buster Olney says Zach Cause Art Signing should send a message to Mike Trout that the Angels want to be contenders. 1,041,010 p.m. eat after spending his entire career at shortstop in Cincinnati, Zach Cause Art was willing to switch positions for the chance to join the Los Angeles Angels' promising lineup. Cause Art was even willing to switch twice. The all-star infielder agreed to a $38 million three-year contract with the Angels on Friday, and he also agreed to play third base in an infield suddenly packed with veteran talent. It's just going to be a fun team to be around, Cazart said. Left fielder Justin Upton is already texting me. From what I hear about the clubhouse, it seems like it's my type of team, a bunch of good grinder guys that want to get after it and win. Cazart gets $12,666,666 next season and $12,666,667 in each of the final two years of the deal. With Gold Glove winner Andrelton Simmons already at shortstop, Angels general manager Billy Ebler initially was interested in signing Cazart to play second base. The free agent said he was amenable to that move but then Ebler managed to swing a trade to acquire second baseman Ian Kinsler from Detroit on Wednesday. The Angels maintained their pursuit of Cosart, but now to be their third baseman. Now that Los Angeles continued its winter shopping spree by adding another all-star to its lineup, nothing can stop the Halos from making a 2018 return to October baseball right. Ian Kinsler is headed to Los Angeles, as the veteran second baseman has been dealt by the Tigers to the Angels. Major League Baseball plans to look into the source of information about Shohei Otani's elbow injury and determine whether the story came from a team official. Sources told ESPN, he said, if this is going to help us get into October, I'm all for it, Epler recalled. That right there made me feel extremely good that not only did we get the right player from an ability standpoint, but we got the right player from a character standpoint. Cazart has already spoken with retired third baseman Eric Chavez, who now works for the Angels, and he plans to consult former teammate Scott Rowland about moving to the hot corner. I've been on some bad teams lately, Cazart said of the Reds, who have lost at least 94 games for three straight years. When I found out the Angels were interested, that was one of the big things for me. It should be a really good team to join, so I was on board. When I found out about playing third base, I was a little shocked because everything was happening so quick. But at the end of the day, I want to win. Cazart was a first-time All-Star this year, hitting .297 with 24 homers and 63 RBIs all career bests. The 32-year-old veteran has a .254 average in parts of seven big league seasons. Cazart's offensive numbers shot up markedly last season, but he and the Angels don't see it as a blip. Cazart said he changed his batting stance last winter, and Epler believes his overall numbers bear out the long-term improvement, including his impressive hitting against right-hand pitching over the past three seasons. After finishing 8,082 last season and missing the playoffs for the sixth time in seven years, the Angels have put together a lineup around Mike Trout with offensive NC and an incredible defensive pedigree. The Angels' probable starters include five Gold Glove winners catcher Martin Maldonado, Simmons, Kinsler, Albert. Pujols and Cole Calhoun and three more considered well above average with the glove Upton, Cazard and Trout. Los Angeles already landed the biggest free agent prize of the winter when Epler and owner Arte Moreno persuaded Japanese 12A star Shohei Otani to join the club. Otani is expected to join the Angels' rotation and to serve as a designated hitter between starts. Yanel Escobar was the Angels' often injured third baseman last year, but their biggest problem areas in recent seasons have been in left field and at second base. Epler has filled both spots impressively by trading for Kinsler after retaining late-season acquisition Upton last month with a $106 million, five-year deal. Luis Valbuena and C.J. Kron could play first base when Pujols is serving as the designated hitter, but it's too early to tell whether either will be with the club when it reports to spring training in February. Cazart's versatility also will be important if the Angels move to a six-man rotation to benefit Otani, who is used to pitching once per week. That means one fewer roster spot is likely to be available for a position player, and Cazart could be a backup at both middle and field positions. If we do go to a six-man and carry 13 pitchers, versatility and flexibility is going to be everything for this roster, Epler said.